Hi guys, I'm just adjusting this clock to make sure my class is 40 minutes because what's happening is um, the software on my Samsung S9 Edge is cutting off at 40 minutes. So if anybody knows how to fix that, will you tell me? Will you tell me? So I'm not stretching at the end of this session. I've got 28 videos on my YouTube channel, Dawn McEvitt. And if you've been doing those and you've done Pilates before, if you've done any of the intro, beginner classes, uh, refresher classes, the stretch is on all those videos. So by now, if you've been following me, you'll know what to do. I don't want to use five minutes up at the end stretching. I want to do exercises with you. So you've got to tr I've got to trust you that you're going to stretch after the sessions. Deal? After you've finished, click on my stretch and relaxation or anything. Or by now, you'll know what to do. You'll know what the stretches are. Yeah? You've all done exercise classes before. And before this, this is like an arms and total Pilates class two. So you will have done the class one, etc., etc. Anyway, let's begin. Um, don't forget to do loads of work on this ball. Uh, call ball if anybody wants one. Uh, inbox me. There's loads of videos on it. There's intro classes as well. Now, you will have done my Pilates before, so now I'm going to tell you that you've got to keep your core switched on throughout the exercises. Um, and we're going to use weights, so you need to keep your weights by, whether it's two litre bottle, that's two kilos, whether it's a two and a half litre bottle, two and a half kilos, whether it's your fabric softener, which is five litres, which is five kilos, yeah? So have them ready. Let's get warm. Again, I'm keeping the warm-ups a bit shorter as well. All right, let's begin. Total Pilates arms, total Pilates arms, total Pilates arms, because mine have gone to pot. So I need your help. Let's get warm. Quick. So, arms. I want you to squat. Squat. Freedom. So I have to keep my hand on the clock. Make sure I start winding up about 39 minutes because it's going to stop at 40. Yeah? Make sure I pack everything in. Side squat. Side splayed squat. Yeah, both feet flat. Both feet flat. Let's do some lunges. One, two, three, rise. One, two, three, rise. Waist up, keeping the hips really, really, really still. Yeah, really, really, really still. Remember your core being switched on is really important. Shoulders still, just move your hips. Remember we're using weights. So from now on, we're going to do lots of classes. Turning like the discus thrower, drop. We're going to do lots of classes with weights. So start collecting your bottles that you can fill with water. Whatever litre bottle it is, filling it with water, keep going, makes it a kilo. So if it's a two litre bottle, it's two kilos. Yeah? So you need to start thinking about collecting your bottles now. Or you might be blessed and lucky enough to have weights. All right, let's start then my lesson plan with a shoulder press. I'm going to use five kilos here, ten in total. You can use whatever you think you need to use. My arms need the work. I'm going to spread my legs because you're going to miss a little bit of the weight at the top there. But I think you get the idea of what I'm doing. Yeah? So we're simply standing and working. Listen carefully. If ever you're imbalanced, no matter what it is, your core fires. So if I say to you, put one foot on the left or one foot on the right and carry on, how does that make you feel? So we're now working our arms 
and our core and our legs. Compound exercising. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. I've got my right foot on the left, so remember which one you've got. Four, three, two, one. So I'm taking my right foot off. I'm going to do that again in a bit, but I'm going to put my left leg on. Put your weights down. Okay, let's move on to what's called a flying bird. Okay, so guys, listen up. Uh, we're going to do it each side, so it doesn't matter which one you use, or which leg you stood up. Try and get balanced. You can put your hands on your thighs. You can put your hands out. It doesn't matter. Or you can fly. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Don't worry if you're wobbling. Three, two, rest. If you're wobbling, that means you're working harder and you're burning more calories. Don't worry about wobbling. Wobbling is good. All right, standing on the other leg. If you just need to every now and then, just touch the wall, touch the mirror, touch something to keep you balanced, that's fine. But try and do as much as you can without help. Because this is great for your legs, your glutes, your abs, your back, your core. So in time, doing this video, you'll eventually not use anything. Yeah? So you can have your hands on your legs. Out. Flying bird. Eight. Seven. Six.
backside, giving the arms a rest. I'm so hoping to improve my arms. Yeah, be neglecting them. All right, guys, I'm turning sideways. Right foot on the left. Watch. Drop. Two. Three. Four. Right. Two. Three. Can you see how my upper body is really 
keep moving. Can you see how smooth that is? It's almost like a huge big balloon. It's below my knees, it's inflating and then deflating. So 
going to actually do the arm and the leg together. You can choose whether to have weights in your hands or not. When we slide out with the right leg, we drop the left arm. When we slide out with the left leg, we drop the right arm. Okay, let's go.
now more so than anything is your core. Again, the front anterior down to is not a big muscle, so we don't lift. Well, I can't lift very, very heavy weights because uh, it's much smaller. That's five.
a lot of it because it's so hard and it's hard to teach. So please really try and stay focused with me. It works here. I've used it on one of the intro sessions where it's taught a lot. It's a narrow chest uh, tricep, a narrow tricep press. Our arms don't leave the side of our body. Our arms, whatever we do with our body, the only thing that moves is our lower arm. The only thing that moves is our lower arm. We can feel the underneath of our arm on our side. The only bit that moves is our upper body and our lower arm. Yeah? Not this bit. This bit stays tight and close. Tight and close. So I want you all to get your arms by your side like this and just go forwards and back and just feel the fabric of your top underneath your arm. The fabric of your top and your arms in contact. I want you to get used to that feeling that you can feel the upper arm all the time against your, your clothing. That never changes. Bringing that Malteser in front of me now. Guys, I'm going to get into a ski slope position, which is drawing a line from my shoulder to my hip to my knees. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my body halfway and push it back up. And I'm doing that deliberately only halfway today, whilst we develop strength to go halfway and lift back up. Can you see I'm, I'm, I'm digging my elbows and the underneath of my arm into my sides, last three. Can you see that? Last two. And last one. Guys, I need you to practice that. I'll bring it in on a lot of videos, but it is amazing, it's exhausting, and you can only do one or two or three or whatever, but can you please practice that? And I'm going to bring that in into most classes because we need to nail it. It's amazing for here, for all this area. All right, let's have a look what we're doing now. Okay, so again, another Pilates, traditional Pilates exercise. Everybody just sit up on your, I'll move back here, sit up on your sit bones, sit up on your sit bones, rock back, and come back to balance, roll back, go back, come back to balance, you can come back to balance and put your feet on the floor, Come back to balance, put your feet on the floor. That would be kind of level one. I don't like saying things are easier or harder, but everyone's so, so different. So we can roll up and put our feet flat back down, or we can start with our feet off the floor and finish with our feet off the floor. Yeah? behind, 
Hold it slightly diagonally. Lift your bottom up. And just bend your elbows a little bit and back up. Bend your elbows a little bit. Kissing your bottom on the floor. Kissing your bottom on the floor. Yeah, get that? Ten. Kiss. Bending the elbows. Nine. Kiss. Eight. Transforming my arms during lockdown just to get them back to where they were on March the 16th when Boris gave us that speech very sadly when we were all told about lockdown. Lost my mojo. Didn't come in the gym. Yeah, so I'm getting it back. I'm, and my mojo is well it's really bad. I'm getting my form and my turn back thanks to you guys. And your motivation helps me and your feedback definitely does. Last one. Again, a lot of pressure through the wrist. You'll find with Pilates and also very generic exercises like that one, you do use your wrist, wrist a lot. Yeah, just do four or five. All right, this was an original Joseph Pilates exercises, and I've got to tell you, this is really unrealistic. But some of them are. Some of the stuff you did, they're not very people friendly. But we're going to try this together. Your last exercise. Stretch up. Round your back, chin to your chest for now, make a C shape, with your back, now take your chin off your chest, suck your belly buttons in, suck your belly buttons in, yeah, belly buttons in, let go, shoulders back, already the abs are like whoa, Joseph Pilates wants us to go back to the mat for a slow eight. Seven, your core switched on. Six, five, four, three, two, rest. We'll just work on half of this exercise. Come back up. Let's do that again. Sit up tall. Round your shoulders. Tuck your belly buttons in, tilt your pelvis, make a C shape with your back, core switched on, chin off your chest, let go, roll the shoulders back, roll the shoulders back, eight. This is hard, isn't it? Seven. Very unrealistic, six, but we can work at it, we can use our legs. Five.